Hello everybody! Today, as you can see, I'm not at home. I am here in Stuttgart on the beautiful Villa Berg, which is the location where the Stuttgart Radio, the SVR, has their recording studio. And I'm right now recording my next solo album, so this is why I'm here. I'm walking towards the studio right now. It is 10 in the morning and um, I'm just doing this little hike to the studio which is a great way I find to start a recording day and I thought that I would take you with me on this recording to show you what it's like going to the studio recording and um, yeah I hope you find this interesting So I am now in the chamber music room of the SVR. This is what it looks like. It has uh, many beautiful instruments. This is a Steinway D and then there are other pianos here because this is also a recording studio. I'm not recording in this one. My recording studio is their main recording studio, which is much bigger, but um, you can already take a look here. This is where the sound engineer would sit there and there. You can see the musicians and talk to them by a mic um, you can see that this is really made to be a recording studio everything the wood on the walls it has a great acoustic so this is just the room where i will be warming up in the next 30 minutes until the piano tuner is done in the big recording studio and then i'm going to go over there and show you what that wonderful studio looks like this is not my first time at the SVI in stuttgart i've recorded here a couple of times four to five times and i must say i really love these studios i find that the conditions are amazing i basically cannot think of a better place to record the rooms are amazing the sound engineers are great. The equipment is amazing. It's such a luxury to record here. You have many days. You can really record in peace. The instruments are great. So um, I'm very grateful that I can record my next album here. So now we're getting into the big studio that I mentioned. This is the studio. You can see that it is really beautifully made. And as I said, all these acoustic things on the walls that really show you how good it sounds in here. Usually the orchestra records here as well, which is why it's pretty big. They record over here. And I'm going to quickly show you my setup. So there are these two big mics that are there to basically catch the atmosphere of the room sound wise. And then there are these two mics that are there to basically get the direct sound of the piano. And then this over here also for atmosphere then this little light right here when it is red it means that they are recording so it's an indication for me that the recording has started and this mic is so they can hear me speak when i talk back to them and then there is this speaker here so that they can speak to me and i can hear them when they tell me something and i can talk back into this mic this is my wonderful recording piano. I love it, it's really nice. And up here is where the sound engineer is. It's a team of three people. One is the one that's constantly communicating with me. That's the sound engineer. Then there is another person that is basically mixing everything, all the sound. And then there is another person who is in charge of starting and stopping the recording and labeling it all. As I said, very luxurious recording conditions. So this is the room of the sound engineer. As you can see, there is a lot going on. These are all the buttons that are in charge of regulating the sound. This little TV is where they can see me. This is where the second guy is sitting. So this is where the sound person is sitting. This is where the guy is sitting that's starting and stopping the recording and labeling everything. And this is where the actual engineer, let's say, is sitting who is talking to me um, and this is these are his headphones talking to me and telling me which things we still need and all of that.
Det er gerne til rigtig fald gerne at høre med, hvordan det er det her. And one more thing I wanted to mention is that this mic here, <laughs> this mic setup that you see right here, we worked on this on the first day quite intensely. So we basically spent around, I would say two hours after it had already all been set up. We spent around two hours like perfecting it and really making sure that the sound is exactly what we want. And now we are not going to move this. So once this is set up, you don't move it until the recording is done. So if I were to now take a mic and move it two centimeters, that would be very bad because it would change the entire sound mixture of the recording. And of course you don't want that. So that's a little uh, interesting side note <laughs> that once the mics are set up, you don't move anything. You leave it like this until the end of the recording. So the piano tuner was just here because it's now after the lunch break and I just wanted to let you know because I think it might be interesting that during a recording a piano is being tuned at least twice so before we start in the morning and then during the lunch break just because it needs to be in top condition all the time and the piano tuner is usually also somewhere in the building so that if there is one single note that is not just just perfect or something is somehow off then he can come and quickly correct it and then we can continue with the recording because the worst thing ever would be for the recording to be done with one note that is out of tune and then there's basically nothing you can do So I'm back from this day of recording. I hope that you liked the little insight that I gave you into the recording studio, into the process, how it is all built and set up. And I am right now on day two of four days of recording. So I'm basically halfway through the time, but fortunately I'm already more than halfway through the program. So I think the next two days are going to be pretty relaxed and very chilled out because we did most of the work already yesterday and today. I cannot tell you just yet which program I'm recording because it is going to be released only next year, but I will definitely let you know when the time comes and I will definitely drop a couple of videos here so you will be the first to know what the new album will be about. So definitely stay tuned for that. And yeah, right now I am actually pretty tired, pretty exhausted. I find that recording always is a very tiring process because basically you're trying to give your best in every single take. So for six to eight hours a day, depends on how long you're recording, 
you are trying to give 100% or 120% the best you can. For me, I always have in mind, this is something permanent. I'm not on stage. It's not just one moment that's being created, but this is going to be on a CD. It's going to be permanent. It's a permanent print, like a footprint or handprint that I'm leaving there with my interpretation. So I really always think about it a lot and I try to make it the very best as I think anyone who records an album so at the end of a recording day, I'm really always incredibly <laughs> exhausted and just have dinner and then fall into bed. <laughs> but it is also very rewarding. I find that when you're recording, you really get to know the pieces kind of in a new way. And at the end of a recording session, I feel like I know the pieces much better than I did before. Also because you exchange opinions with a sound engineer, you don't just stick to your own opinion. So this means that you really get to know a different perspective as well, someone who's really inside the piece and really knows every detail as well. And that really helps a lot. In any case, I'm now in my little Airbnb. This is my Airbnb that I rented to stay in during these four recording days. I'm going to eat some dinner now and then just relax, maybe do one or two emails and then go to sleep and be fresh for the next day of recording tomorrow. I hope that you enjoyed this video with a couple of insights into how a recording works. If you have any questions that I did not answer in this video, please leave them in the comments down below and I will answer them in the comments if you want to know anything else about how a recording works or what happens behind the scenes in a recording studio. I'm very happy to answer and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye!